Good morning. We have a little extra to show you on the show after the show. Maggie Tollison is helping me do the show here in the morning on Local News 8. We got a lot of stuff that is happening in our community, but I went to the DMV. And Monique over there at Idaho Falls DMV, you, you, you've been to the DMV. Not the one here, but I've been but to But you've it. been to a yeah. DMV. Yeah. It is always a laborious process, usually. However, they're so kind over there. Chester, who does the licenses, mm -hmm. helped me with the cow question. The cow question? Yeah, if you run into a cow, whose fault is it? The farmer, the cow, or yours? Oh. It's a traffic question. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's a tricky one. Is but that on the It's on the, on the test. test here? Yeah, well, when you move here, you get a license, you got to take a test. Have you done that? Oh, don't tell anybody. Um, <laughs> maybe I'll go with you and introduce you to these people. <laughs> I want you to help Maggie. Pixie, uh, this is Monique's in the uh, dealer uh, title area, the dealer services. I went back there and they were helping me with something. Uh, with the, chi the child that called yesterday who needed a car, yeah, I, had to, I went ahead and re-upped the registration for a couple of years, right? So Monique, in this, can we play the audio of this? Yeah, we'll turn that up, but I, I, I was, she, she started giving me treats and I was like, where'd that come from? <laughs> Then she opened it up. This is her secret food snack drawer. This Listen. Is what happens when you go into See, people's we're not desk? Like some people <laughs> <laughs> you got sales flyers. Oh, you got gummy. Work. There's some gummies in there. <laughs> Look at what is this Ziploc bag? Are you going to family reunions and taking stuff home? Oh, I found it. I found it. <laughs> Here it is. Look, it's the condiments. I found a condiment. What's the, what? what's the date on this? That's <laughs> some that hot sauce. That's, good. That's real good of you. You know what? Ne next next hurricane comes in here, my dick could be set. <laughs> <laughs> She's got more food in that drawer than you know. Does somebody in your workplace have a snack drawer? You have one. I do. You brought it with you when you started working here. Yep. First night that I started working overnight, I stocked my drawer. And it's not healthy stuff. Um, there's almonds in there. Nuts. And there's crackers. Who are you calling cracker? Cracker. No, I'm not calling anybody. What? I'm just saying I have saltines in there and yeah. goldfish. And you got quick tuna payoff? No. Usually you can find those on the sale rack at the grocery stores, like 50% off. We got to get rid of this stuff. And it <laughs> expires this month, but it's the little tunas, tuna can with the crackers. And then uh, a little mernays <laughs> that you put in there. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, show us a picture of your uh, snack drawer. Can you take? Can you punch the weather computer real quick? We'll put the email up there, uh, and uh, we want to see a picture of where you're getting the goodies from. This is your your secret food snack drawer. Email it to me, Jeff Roper, and that's my real name, Jeff Roper, <laughs> at localnews8.com. Sing it with me. Dot com. Can you, you have to sing? Yeah. Okay, harmonize. Ready? Dot, dot com. com. <laughs> See? How great was that? She can sing too. She can fill in. Did you hear about the Tennessee Titans quarterback who inspired the mayonnaise cologne? We were talking about this earlier before the show started, Zach and I. Yeah. <laughs> the other producer, Zach, is yeah. that producer boy? Yeah, he, uh, is he going to buy some? I don't know. Well, here's how it started. If, if you, and I don't, where'd my cup go? Oh, my coffee cup. Uh, did I lose it? That was from Fort Hall. Uh, no, it's, no, right it's there. over there. So <laughs> what do you put in your coffee? Well, apparently the quarterback for the Titans, Levis, he puts mayonnaise in his coffee. Well, this became a viral thing. I've never tried. A lot of people put cream, sugar, creamers, you know, sweeteners. You well, know. I thought it was weird when people started putting olive oil in it. What did that do? Starbucks did Starbucks that. Starbucks did that for a minute? I think it's still there. Okay. I don't know what that does. people did not but have a pleasant experience. People play with coffee, okay? And, and this is, I don't know, I guess it's not really coffee then. It's more like a milkshake for some people. But, and now it's cold, and I don't know what that does either for you other than make you drink dirty, dirty coffee water. But my kids love that stuff. <laughs> it's like, really? Cold coffee. That's not the point. The point is warm you up, wake you up. That's it. They say you should drink water before you drink anything else first thing in the morning. Uh, but that looks like vodka sometimes. All right, so, <laughs> but, but he put mayonnaise in his coffee, 
So Hellman's Mayonnaise got with him and they put together uh, a, a fake commercial, or maybe it's a real, maybe they made a couple of bottles of this, but may, mayonnaise infused cologne, and it's it's online for sale for this quarterback, and they did this sexy commercial with it and stuff, and it's like, really? It's like when they did the, they announced the pretzel butter perfume. Yeah. Auntie Annie's. What, why do people want to smell like food? Because that's what people eat up. But and not you put like a piece of ham on his neck and... <laughs> And yum, yum, yum. I don't know. I, bacon is the only thing to me that I can recognize with a food smell that you go, oh, that's good. Bacon. Sweets are good, like cake and baked goods. You can smell a cake? When it's baking and warm in the oven, okay, yeah. Okay, warm bread, yeah. Yeah, like that smell. So what like. food smell would you like as a perfume or cologne? Uh, baked goods. Baked goods? Yeah. There's a whole plethora. You just pick one. Muffins, bread, <laughs> cookies. Well, the perfume that I where currently is happy <laughs> it has notes of pistachio in it notes of pistachio <laughs> yes she knows what she's talking about she just said notes of pistachio no it just says on the bottle sold de janeiro yeah, yeah. 62 notes of pistachio so what do you may i ask what you pay for that i did not pay anything Ooh. for that <laughs> so is i mean is a, the stuff i buy like a hundred bucks oh it's not that expensive Okay. I think it might be like. If your cologne is behind the glass at the Revco, <laughs> you fancy. You are fancy pants. You'd be fancy like Applebee's on a date night. I want to find this commercial and show it to you uh, for this guy. What day of the week is it? I'm sorry. Let me look into my archive here. This is oh, this is the last thing we'll do too, so everybody can do, take a smoke break. Um, <laughs> but NFL quarterback. There he is. All right. Hellman's has partnered with Will Levis. Hope I'm saying that right. Is lettuce? Levis, like oh, Levi's. Levis. It looks like Levi's, but it's, I think it's Levis. To release a fragrance based on the smell of mayonnaise. You can buy it online for eight bucks. At least they know now, what it's worth. Now, let, let me give you the, let me give you the, uh, let me give you the, let me give you the mix down because you just said notes of pistachio. <laughs> uh, it combines hints of Tart lemon, okay. coffee, musk, vanilla, this is my favorite, a whisper of parsley. No. A whisper of parsley. <laughs> and something that they're calling mayonnaise accord. Now, would you, like, would you like to see the commercial? I do. Okay. Here's the commercial, because this show is not heavily produced, but let me turn the volumes up. It's, no, that ain't it. Hang on a second, go back. Telling. No, not telling my girlfriend, this is all on TikTok. That's not the one I wanted. See, this is, this is why things need to be produced, but we just don't have enough hours in the day uh, to pay a big time producer for this show. So you got me. All right, let's try not to go back. This is where you could come help Maggie. You know, <laughs> what maybe, do you maybe, need me to do? I want you to help me hold up this machine. Oh, I can do machine. that. Yeah, so, all right. <laughs> you stay in there. I was just watching. It's like your first live shot with us. They try to define you. But you are the ingredient to your own success. Hellman's. Mernay's. Look at that. Robble, robble. Luscious. Look. Maggie. A little dimple, do you? Parfum de mayonnaise. Bologna. All right, there it is, and you can get it for $8. That's pretty funny. I love stuff like that. Okay, hope you have a great day. Hope something smells good. Send us your food snack drawer and enjoy your time that's left for because the kids go back to school soon. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. I've already got hit up for donations for sports teams and that, you know. Oh, Did you yeah. sell anything in school growing up? Um, in elementary school, I really wanted to be a part of the limo pizza party, so I tried to sell Otis Spunkmeyer cookie dough, and I was like two bins short. I wish you'd have called us. Yeah, so I got a cookie on a stick instead. Would you like to have a limo pizza party? I would love to have a limo pizza party. Maybe we should invite 
eight of eight, our eight viewers. <laughs> eight viewers. And we, we, what would be the best pizza to get around here? We're gonna have, I don't to, know. have to look that up. All right, I'm, let me put that on my list of things to do. <laughs> since I'm not technically a producer, but I produce. That's it. Anything I can do for you? you any questions? <laughs> Just a limo pizza party. What are we doing tomorrow morning? Tomorrow morning, I think you're bringing in tots because we got the Greater Tater Tot Festival this yeah. weekend. I want to see how many, uh, well, if Kaylee was here, see how many she could put in her mouth. Maybe you see how many I can put in my mouth. You want to make a bet on how many? I know the size of my mouth. I've done I this know, before. I know. Well, how many do you think you could do? How many do you think I could do? Mm, 15. 15 tots. How many do you think? In my pie hole. I think I could probably do a little less than that. Really? Well, without swallowing them. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, you just it's like put them in your mouth and eat them. It's not the same. Well, no, yeah, I just no. I'm talking about putting them in my mouth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, holding them. Mm-hmm. I think you're in the ball. I think it's less than that. You think I? You think my mouth's that big? <laughs> no. Depends on the quality of tot. I just didn't want to offend you with it low, number too low. You know? Oh, I don't want to offend you, but you know, you look good for your age, Jeff. All right, we'll see you later. <laughs> good night, everybody. Thanks for watching. Go back and rewatch yesterday's so you understand what we're talking about with my kid. <laughs> and that is the show after the show. That's the show.